Around 11.30, and with lunchtime looming, the Beatles turned next to I Saw Her Standing There. Written by Paul McCartney, for a long time it was known simply as Seventeen. One, two, three, five! The studio recording shows that it was sometimes a bit tense. Too fast. No, he had a wrong word. Yeah, but I mean, it's too fast anyway. Today, things are much more relaxed. <laughs> About to perform the song are the stereophonics. Kelly, this room, has it got a, a vibe to you? Yeah, I mean, we, um, we recorded a couple of tracks here before. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, and I mean, it's just one of those studios in the world, really. There's a, there's a few in LA and, and this one, which you can't help you know, feeling the, the presence of the records that were made here, really. Yeah. You chose the track you're going to do, as mm. I stand there, particularly, didn't you? Yeah. Why, why this track? Um, I remember on a cassette in my house when I was a kid with, with all the early Beatles stuff, like I Want to Hold Your Hand and all stuff like that, and this was one of the ones I remember as a kid, so... I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the album which a lot of people probably won't be as familiar with as they might think they, they would be, you know, yeah. on this record, so... I think this suited the kind of stuff we would kind of doing as a cover band when we were kids and stuff like that and they suited the sound of the band and, and the key and the voices and stuff so it's just a simple kind of rock and roll song really yeah. well, she was 